what is going on everybody it's a nice day today it's a little warm but I've been working this morning getting uh, a couple of final exams graded the, uh, the seniors that are graduating their grades are due today so I had to give them their final yesterday and so I graded them this morning averaged up their grades and got those grades posted and I edited a video and got it posted and scheduled to post and so I figured I figured I'd hop on the bike. I gotta run to the bank. So I figured I'd hop on the bike and head on out. It is, let's see, it's May 17th, 2022, and it's 90 degrees outside. So it's a little warm. Let's hope the GoPro don't overheat. So far it hasn't. And I think when I uh, when I leave the bank, I'm gonna go ride to Caroli Park. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna go into the park. I'm just gonna go there to the entrance and just look and see if they've planted more flowers. And if they have, I may go up there another day and try to get some pictures. But yeah, that's about all we got to do today. Is head to the bank. tell you the normally the breeze keeps you pretty cool but I'd have to say here the breeze isn't doing too much for me today it's just hot and the bad part is the worst is yet to come here in Louisiana it's gonna get worse and worse as we get into the summer I think it's t typically July, August is when it's when it's bad. I mean, it's it's bad in June too, but it's worse in July. I think you can't you can't even hardly walk outside without sweating. But yeah, the. I give finals tomorrow. Today's a Tuesday. I'm not just teach on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays this quarter. But I go tomorrow and give finals, three classes. And then I've got an online class I gotta give a final to. I'll do that over Zoom. And then that's my last day for the, for the quarter. And then it's summertime. So, the only bad part about it is got to grade them all.
I think I said in a in one of my other videos before this one about we, us getting an air fryer. And I have to say, we've been cooking in it for the past couple of nights. Well, every night since we've gotten it. Let's see, when did I get it? I got it on a Saturday or Sunday. I think it might have been Saturdays when I got it. But yeah, I think we cooked on it Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. And, uh, I tell you, it does a good job. We've cooked fish in it, chicken breasts, shrimp, pork chops. Now, I'll say the pork chops, it was those little breakfast pork chops. Uh... They were okay, but everything else has really been good. Just went right down the middle of the sidewalk. I don't even know if he saw me. sidewalks are rough pizza another trash can in the middle of the sidewalk Look at that. They fixed the sidewalk, it looks like. This is that spot where the sidewalk was missing. And it looks like they fixed it. So, all right. Well, no, they didn't. Or did they? I don't know. That part right there still got a lot of dirt on it, so I don't know. The light's green. Let's see if it'll go ahead and give us the... Let us cross. No. All right, so we gotta... We gotta get over. Doesn't look like there's a line. I came at the right time today. Hello. Hello. All right, so we got our business taken care of at the bank. Now, let's head home, but first, we're gonna we're gonna stop by Caroli Park just to peek in there and see if the if the flowers are new flowers are planted. My luck, they would have planted them in there a while back, and there and the flowers are dying now, so won't get good pictures. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna look and see.
see right here when you cross the road you got to stay on the road because there's no there's no button there to push for a walkway so I just get on the road for this You know, looking around, there's no place to lock your bike up here. That's that's one thing about this area here. They don't have anywhere to lock, lock your bikes up. They don't have any bike racks. must be trash day today. in the sidewalk again. So let's let's ride down this road just a little bit well down to the end of the road where the park is see if we can't tell if they planted anything new Comcast. 
we used to have Comcast and uh, we got rid of it years ago. We opted for uh, Hulu Live and we like it. So I was always hesitant to switch from cable to live streaming TV. And I just finally did it one summer. And I tell you, I don't think I'd ever go back to cable. It's just, it's really nice with the Hulu Live. We got, uh, we got the Hulu Live with no ads and, uh, and HBO. And it's like, uh, oh, and they have another package where you can get, uh, I think it's like 10 or 12 extra channels. It's like $8 extra a month for that. It, the Science Channel is on there. And they have MTV Classic, which I like watching that on Friday nights. The Metal Mayhem. Yeah, I listen to that music, so. I like, I like uh, I'm glad they added that. You only get that with the that additional package. Uh, and it's like $98 a month. Let's see. Well, just looking. Doesn't look like there's much new, so there may be some new ones, but I don't know. You can't really tell. Some geese. But yeah, it's like $98 a month. And for cable, when I had cable and HBO, I was paying about $150 a month. And that was years ago. Oh, that was years ago, and I'm sure, I'm sure cable's gone up since then. I know, I know the Hulu Live has gone up like two or three times. It's gone up in price, but I'm still paying less than when I had cable. And my parents, they had Direct TV, and I finally talked them into getting Hulu Live because they were paying a lot for direct TV. They, and even when I got them to switch, they didn't want to switch. But I told them, I said, look, just sign up for it, keep your satellite, and do the seven day trial of Hulu Live. And so they tried the seven day trial and they ended up cutting their direct TV off. So they're streaming on Hulu Live. So if, you know, and they, they don't have the, I don't know if they have the no ads or not. Yeah, I think they have the no ads, but, but I don't think they have HBO and they don't have the extra channels. So I think without that, I think it's around $75 a month. If you don't get all, if you don't get the extra stuff, so but I, I tell you what I do like about the Hulu live now is if you have they, they increased it I think they increased it another five dollars or so because I was paying 93 and they increased it up to 98 but when they did that they gave you Disney Plus and ESPN Plus for free. And so we get that also with that $5 increase in price. So I, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Now I really enjoy the ESPN Plus because I know during the, uh, during the uh, hockey season, they, uh, all the hockey games, they have a ton of hockey games on ESPN Plus. And of course, my my favorite team's the Dallas Stars. But they uh, 
they're, they're the closest ones to us professional hockey team and uh yeah we got knocked out of the playoffs by calgary over the weekend but uh but what gets me is i'll go to the espn plus to watch the hockey game and when i click on a dallas stars game they what it is is when you click on it you can either select to watch it over the network in dallas or the network where they're actually playing and several times when i've done that it tells me that it's not available in my area so what i'm thinking is if it's not a sellout they're blacking it out for me to watch which i don't think that's right because i mean dallas is like five or six hours away you know so i don't know maybe Maybe it'll be different next season. I don't know. All right. So let's cross the road here, and we are we are almost home. So I think I'm going to call it a video. As usual, I will leave the camera running in case something exciting happens. But I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.